Thank you for joining me for training on how to sync your Outlook and Acuity calendar. Using Acuity with Outlook is a breeze. Before I show you how to do the syncing, let me share with you my top three reasons why I love Acuity. Many of our clients will have time blocks, so they may do new client appointments on Mondays and Wednesdays between 8 and noon, but return calls every day between 3 and 5. Maybe on Friday mornings, they like to return calls earlier in the morning. So using Acuity, you can actually set these up. So now the receptionist sees only the actual available times. Doing the same, you can see Friday morning, we have our time blocks already preset for us. So each appointment type can have its very own time block. So that's one reason that I love using the Acuity calendar. It's much easier than looking at Outlook, which you could schedule an appointment for any time on any day and having to memorize, well, which day can I schedule a new client appointment versus a return call versus an existing client appointment. It really takes the guesswork out for the reception team. The next thing that I love is once the appointment is booked, an automatic appointment confirmation is sent out to your client and a reminder is sent out 24 hours prior to the appointment. This saves the reception team again from having to make those outbound calls for you to remind people of their appointments. Now, if you want to add that personal touch, it's still really nice and up to you, but the Acuity system does do a lot of that for you. And lastly, this didn't make the top three list, but it's so affordable, it just makes sense to use. So to go ahead and do the syncing, you go to your business settings. From the business settings, you click on sync with other calendars and select your calendar type. Using Outlook 365 or Outlook Exchange, all you have to do to sync the calendar with Acuity is sign in. One thing to note is although it does say it has two-way syncing, if you reschedule an appointment in your Outlook calendar, say you move it from 3 p.m. to 2.45, it doesn't work as well syncing back to Acuity. So if the original appointment was done in Acuity, it's always best to go in there and move the appointment and reschedule. That's probably the only downside, but I think the benefits here far outweigh any negatives. If you have any questions about using Acuity, feel free to email us at bettygram, B-E-T-T-I-E-G-R-A-M at backofficebetties.com. We're always happy to answer your questions and see how you can use Acuity successfully for your firm. Thanks for watching.